So thank you guys again for coming and joining us today on this Wednesday evening. Uh, my name is Gabriel Redondo. I am a recruitment and yield specialist here at BU Wheelock. Uh, I am also a former alum of BU Wheelock. I came out of state from BU uh, to BU Wheelock for my graduate education um, in 2017. I graduated in 2018. Um, since then, I have been a teacher. Uh, I taught in Boston for a little bit before coming back to BU Wheelock, and now I work in the graduate admissions space. Um, and uh, my job is really to just help inform your decision as you make um, your way through your journey towards uh, graduate education. Um, and I'm joined here by my colleague, Brian Bowman, and I'll let Brian introduce himself. Yep. Hi, everybody. Good to see everybody's faces here tonight. Like Gabe said, my name is Brian Bowman. I am the Associate Director of Admissions, Recruitment, and Financial Aid. Um, I'm also not a Boston native. I came to Boston by way of Washington, D.C., um, but I am I am a uh, Boston University alum. I actually graduated from my undergrad in 2015, um, and I have been doing financial aid ever since. Um, I'm pretty new to the admission side of everything. I just finished up my first year here at VU Wheelock, but very excited to start a brand new cycle, start a brand new year, and see all of your happy faces. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. All right, cool. So um, essentially, we can go over the overview of the session. Um, and if you guys can still hear me, Carolyn, do we have a thumbs up? There it is. Okay, great. So uh, the overview of the session today will be kind of looking at Big BU um, at a glance. Um, we're going to be talking about BU Wheelock, so kind of just concentrating on our college within BU, um, an overview of our programs, the admissions processes, financing your education, um, which Brian will talk to you more about. And at the end of this session, we'll have uh, plenty of time for any questions that you might have. All right, so let's go right in. So Boston University um, encompasses three campuses, 17 schools and colleges, and students from 50 states and 130 countries. Over 37,000 undergraduate and graduate students currently make up Boston University, with approximately 50% or a little bit more being graduate students. Um, Boston University is also um, able to um, employ 14,000 faculty and staff. Um, BU is quite big, um, but I like to say that BU Wheelock has that small kind of college feel, um, giving you kind of the best of both worlds um, when you're in a kind of a, a tight knit community at BU Wheelock, however, with the capabilities of a big time university. So kind of thinking about uh, more about BU Wheelock, um, being the first college at BU named after a woman, we proudly carry the name of Lucy Wheelock, an early childhood educator and advocate for the rights of children and immigrant families. You will make an impact through the work of centers, community-based partnerships and placements, research policy action. BU Wheelock is truly human potential transformed. And we're just going to talk about EDI, um, which uh, is central to everything we do here as a college. Our, mi our mission is deeply rooted in social justice, and we believe as a school and community that fostering equity, diversity, and inclusion is essential to fulfilling our mission as a college of education and human development. EDI is central to all we do as a school. Uh, we do this through our social justice focus events. Uh, which you can find as our in our BU Wheelock calendar. Those are not just available for students. So like as a prospective student, you can attend one of our uh, social justice uh, focused events. Um, and they're just located on our BU Wheelock calendar on our website. Uh, we also have our affinity groups, um, which are listed in the bottom left there. Um, anywhere from the diversity of programs, e uh, our EDM education for equity and social justice, deaf education, our faculty and staff are representative of those of the diversity of those programs as well. For our current fall 2023 incoming class, 25% are international students um, with 18 countries represented in that incoming class and 25% of those students being first generation students. Um, with 
kind of big BU, we uh, you have available uh, resources um, that are not just exclusive to BU Wheelock, um, such as libraries, uh, peer tutoring, the Center for Career Development, Student Health Services, Office of Disability Services, the Fit Rec Gym, uh, International Students and Scholars Affair Office, also known as ISSO, and our Religious Life Office. So um, here is a list of our programs here at BU Wheelock. I wanted kind of to show you the depth of, of programs um, that we offer, um, kind of just going from left to right to give you a general overview of the different buckets of programs. So um, starting with our Master of Education programs, aside from the Applied Human Development and Counseling, uh, from our Curriculum and Teaching program, uh, these are all prep, uh, teacher preparation programs. The EDM versus the MAT teacher prep programs um, are just kind of a matter of time. Um, typically, our Master of Education EDM programs are typically a year to a year and a half, where the MAT is kind of closer to that two-year mark. Um, other than that, we have Certificates of Advanced Graduate Study, also known as CAGS. Um, with other master's degrees, such as our MA in Educational Policy and our MS in Child Life, um, as well as our doctoral degrees down there at the bottom right. So let's talk about um, the admissions process and kind of what is required for um, application. Um, so with the online application, you are required to submit your resume. Um, a personal statement or a statement of qualifications and objectives, uh, equity and inclusion statement. Uh, there is an optional essay if you would like to provide additional um, writing samples. Uh, we require unofficial or official transcripts um, and two letters of recommendation. You can upload these items directly to the online application um, and receive updates from, the, from our office. Um, however, if you're ever at any time having trouble uploading something to your application or you're kind of facing a technical error, um, kind of like my mic earlier, shout out to Carolyn, um, uh, you can just always email wegrad at bu.edu and we will upload uh, the your application materials for you. So definitely try to upload what you can through the portal. Uh, that would be our recommendation. However, if you are experiencing problems, feel free to just attach um, your document as a PDF and we will upload it for you. All right, so um, now we're talking. gonna talk about some deadlines. Um, at this part of the cycle, a lot of people are looking towards uh, spring. However, I know that there are folks here who are even thinking about fall 2024. Um, so these are some of the deadlines coming up. Our, our international student deadline for spring 2024 programs is October 15, 2023. Um, this is just because uh, students who are coming uh, internationally or who are coming through the ISSO just need to submit additional documents uh, for visa requirements. So their deadline is going to be October 15th. Um, for domestic students who are trying to come into any programs in 2024, our deadline is December 1st, 2023. Um, and with both of these deadlines, um, these are kind of like the last day to submit your application. Um, I think when you're thinking about spring, something uh, to remember is that it is a quick turnaround between December and the start of spring classes, which is in um, the middle of January. Um, and obviously there's a lot of holidays in between that time. So I always like to say the earlier, the better, As the sooner you can upload your application and submit it, um, just kind of the smoother the process will be on the other end, as far as like when you can expect a decision and um, kind of the turnaround between you know, like a decision and matriculating to a student. And as far as uh, fall 2024, for folks who are interested in applying, our uh, recommended deadline for fall 2024 is January 15th, 2024. Um, and uh, just kind of the middle of the month of January as well. All right, and I'm gonna let Brian take it from here. 
Hi again, everybody. Um, so yeah, so just at a glance here, we're going to do a quickly, very high level look at, you know, some of the opportunities that might be available to you. Um, full disclosure, if you are someone that is applying for the spring semester, um, I will say that our general scholarship budget does reset for the fall of every year. So we do have limited resources for the spring um, for the best chance of actually getting, you know, selected for scholarship by the faculty. Uh, ap applying to fall of 2024 is probably your best bet. Um, but that said, at a glance, uh, we do have tons of scholarship opportunities available for all students. Scholarships are always decided at time of admission based on a holistic review of your application by the faculty. Um, you'll see here, we have a couple numbers for you. We actually gave away about $5.1 million in scholarship to our new students in the last couple of years. Um, and that 60% of our incoming class have been selected for scholarship every year. So if you are someone that uh, feels that you will need scholarship to make Boston University or the dream of Boston University a reality, um, obviously we have a lot of resources available. Available and, and hopefully we can help you along the way in that regard. Um, just to, you know, get it out of the way, the sticker price of Boston University as a full-time student um, is $64,732. Um, that's the full-time tuition and mandatory fees for the year 23-24. Um, I do expect that price to maybe go up for the upcoming year. Um, but you'll see down at the bottom here, the part-time price per credit is $997 per credit. So if you're looking at it from a per credit uh, perspective, it's about half the cost per credit to, you know, attend our courses at the part-time evening rate, um, which we know a lot of you will do. It's a very accessible way to get through this. A lot of you are working full-time professionals. Um, and this just becomes a really great accessible way for you to, you know, join our community here at BU Wheelock. Um, just in terms of types of assistance, things that'll help you facilitate, things our team will help you facilitate. Um, it's going to be all of the scholarships and fellowships. Uh, we help you with everything financial fin uh, financial assistance wise. So if you have questions about your FAFSA, questions about federal loans, I would be your point of contact for that. Um, all private education loans would go through me as well. Again, if you have any questions like that, you can put them in the chat. Um, and then every question about payment plans um, and how to get in contact with our student accounting office, I am going to be your point of contact. And for any questions, you can either put them in the chat today, or if you think of something later, you can feel free to email us at weaid at bu.edu, and I'll put that email in the chat just a bit. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. So um, before we get into questions, I just wanted to put a couple common questions that we get. Um, just up on the pre on the board. Um, so the first one is there a GPA requirement? No, there is no GPA requirement. BU Wheelock considers a variety of factors, including a student's academic performance and their fit with the program. Um, is the GRE required for my program? No, a GRE is not required for any programs. If you have already taken the GRE and you would like to share the results, you could submit your results to our school code, which is thirty eighty seven. However, I think it's important to know that the faculty do not put, um, you know, you taking the GRE into account. Um, however, it's something you would like to share. That's how you would share it. Uh, but the GRE is not required for any of our programs to be considered. Um, how long should my application essays be? So your statement of qualifications and objectives, as well as your equity and inclusion statement should each be no more than two pages, double spaced. Um, and the last question that we have on here is, do I need to submit an official evaluation of my international transcript? So um, the answer to that is no. We ask that international applicants obtain credential evaluations if possible. But if you are if you currently have an official English translated version of your transcript that includes a U.S. grading scale, that would also be accepted for our application. So just uh, just a few of the kind of frequently asked questions. But um, at this time, we can go ahead and uh, get into questions before we fully get in. Um, I have some uh, contacts on. Um, the board there, um, and you can take down weaid at bu.edu, as Brian just mentioned, for any financial aid questions. Um, and then other questions as far as like the admissions process or admission applications, um, you would email wegrad at bu.edu. And I'll give folks a couple seconds to write that down. All right, perfect. Um, so at this time, I think we're gonna go ahead and stop the recording, uh, Brian. Um, and just to give a um, 
And just to give a uh, just another reminder for 